there is nothing like ringing in the summer with an ice cold beer. Problem is, I don't know anything about beer. I'm going to a local brewery to get put up on game. Hey, Lynn. Oh, hey. hey Alex. Good seeing you. Same here, same here. Hey. Good to see you guys. How you doing? I have for real had no idea there was a brewery in Inglewood. I would be here <laughs> all the time. How did you guys get into beer? I got the opportunity to stay home with my three kids. I started home brewing really quickly after my third child. I understand you're with home with your kids. You might need a drink. I didn't want to that... say my children don't need a drink, but possibly. So Alex, you're the brewmaster here. Yeah. Beer feels like a very male driven field. It's true, and so because it is. How do people react, you know, to women that, you know, have their own brewery? I still meet people it's like, you brewed the beer? And I'm like, yeah. But there are more and more women on the production side since I started when I was one of the very few. I would love if you guys could walk me through it. We can certainly do that. Absolutely. All right. We're in our grain handling room. So what role does this sort of play in the process? It, it begins here, and this is one of the first steps of recipe formulation, is really? when you start with the grain. It's yeah. almost like popcorn, almost. Yeah. Like, do you ever combine oh, them yeah. to create a flavor? All the time. Our imperial okay. stout has like nine different malts in it. Wow. Just to build layers of flavor. Mm -hmm. What are hops? Hops are essentially a flower. They provide the bitterness and a lot of those fruity, aromatic profiles that you get out of like an IPA. Rub it in your hands, okay. and then you smell. You get a lot of lemon and pine, yeah, it does orange, like that. a lot of very big aromatics. These tanks with the cones in the bottom wow. are fermenters. This is where the beer actually becomes beer. The yeast creates alcohol, and it's a really rudimentary way to put it, but the yeast eats the sugar and it basically poops out. <laughs> Ethanol and CO2. It's a byproduct of sure, fermentation. Sure. We're all drinking yeast poop. It's yeah, all good. Yeah. 